quick question guys, how often do you think about Alexander Great? A lot? Well, this game is probably not for you, because it is about World War I or post World War I. The Great War is over. All we want is to return home. To the new republic, born in the heart of Europe. But we are stuck as the escalating civil war blocks the direct path to the west. The only way out is to the east, through territory disputed between the red and white armies. We have to take an armored train across Siberia and then safe passage home by ship. It is our only chance to survive this long journey. It might be our last train home. Nice intro. What's up guys? Proper hello is in order. So, um, I actually did this game's demo recently. It's on my channel. Uh, in that demo, I played throughout, what was it, two, three first missions? I think it might have been three missions. And I have to say, this game can be or will be very challenging because I got to the point where I ran out of all the resources. My train had no more fuel, I had no food left, I, I had nothing really left to do. So that's where I ended my journey in the demo. Hopefully in this one I will be able to figure it out and... Um, Hopefully some of you, or maybe all of you, will join me on this journey, which is called New Journey. Let's do the first mission and the intro and see where it goes. Although I do know where it goes, but you might not know. So, join me. Uh, when it comes to... Settings. That's the thing. I had Commander chosen last time as well in the demo option for those who want to enjoy the game as it is meant to be played that's what i chose last time and honestly it felt a little bit um challenging not the fighting part but just the train management part but i don't know maybe you know maybe this time it'll be better so i'll just keep it at that and we'll see how it goes By the way, like the video, please. Okay, <laughs> I didn't think the loading screen would be so long. <laughs> I thought it would be quick, but okay, let's go. During the Great War, later known as World War I, the Czechoslovak Legion was commissioned to fight on Russia's behalf in exchange for support for an independent Czechoslovak Republic. However, the Great War exacted tremendous loss of life and economic collapse in Russia, igniting a revolution that deposed the Tsar and devolved into a bloody civil war. The Bolsheviks established the Red Army to consolidate power and rule over a united Russia, whereas the White Army rallied to oppose the Reds. The Czechoslovak Legion was now in a very delicate position, an armed force in a foreign land with no clear allegiance to the Reds or Whites. Moreover, Russia's western borders were still held by powers opposing the establishment of Czechoslovakia. Thus, the Czechoslovak Provisional Government ordered the legionaries to remain neutral and travel eastward to Vladivostok to board ships back to Europe. Nonetheless, during its evacuation via the Trans-Siberian Railway, the legion became embroiled in armed conflicts affecting the course of the Russian Civil War. Now, we learn the story of The Last Train Home, a work of fiction inspired by the writings of a brilliant member of the Czechoslovak Legion and a veritable instrument of history. The story begins with an ambitious captain under the command of Major Gazdik, who leads the last unit of Czechoslovak Legionaries, headed to Vladivostok by armored train. Gazdik is the name of our protagonist. Okay. 
So the game auto saves at relevant points while not in a mission. You can save manually whenever the save button is available during both management and missions. Okay. Cheer up, Captain. The train needs a checkup and we can be on our way. I heard you bragged you'd be a better major than I am. So, let's see how well you do in command. Let's take a squad and go trade with the local miller while the rest of the legionaries look after the train. I can already see the fire in the distance through those forests. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So I kind of know the basics Understood. a little bit now. Still, this is fairly new gameplay for me. I smell smoke. That's not good. Hurry up. I haven't really played games like this for the past, I don't know, 15 I'll see to it. years, maybe 10 years. It's been a while. The last game that was anywhere close to this one was, I believe, Sherwood, Legend of Sherwood, Robin Hood, Legend of Sherwood. That's like 2000s, game up from 2000s. Um, I've played a little bit of Company of Heroes, but so little, I barely know anything it about destroyed. it. Changing Fortunately, it seems nobody was around to get hurt. Hurry and collect the sacks with food supplies before they burn too. Taking cover. Yes. Collect the sacks of food. Assuming Can we take position. fire damage? I hope not. Wait, there was uh, one Finding more here. Cover. I'll see to it. Is over. Winter is coming. Who in their right mind would burn a flour mill? We have to talk yes, to the sir. miller. The farmhouse is nearby. Let's go. Yeah, so this is um like an introductory mission. Understood. Nothing too much happens in it, but it kind of gives you the tone, the setting, what's to come. Oh, there's more food here. We'll need that. But I need to basically make sure I check everything yes. now because we will have to rely on all the resources. Which is honestly the only okay, thing I didn't we really touch too much in my uh, demo playthrough. Because you know, like, I, I knew it's not gonna last for much long. Or for at least, I mean, for long. <laughs> um, so I didn't bother. Getting into it too much. The Miller's house. If someone is still alive in there, I'll it is our it. duty to try and help. But um, yeah, now I need to definitely uh, make sure I delve deep into the management of the train and everything because I'll need to uh, survive. Not a problem. Someone's lying there. Understood. Are you here to kill me now? No, ma'am. We are Czechoslovak legionaries on our way to Vladivostok. We wanted to buy supplies from your mill, but found it burning. Who did this? Bolsheviks. They demanded we hand over our winter supplies in the name of Lenin. My son refused. We have a family to feed, he said. So they killed him. And the children. You soldiers are all the same. Killing is all you know. Just leave and let me die. Die in peace. If the Bolsheviks wanted food, why did they leave the sacks to burn with the mill? It was never about the food. This is what you get for refusing to collaborate with the Red Army. The Reds who burned this farm may not know we are here, but we can't risk the train. Find a good spot to scout the train track ahead. If there's trouble, at least we'll okay, be ready. I'm going. Okay, those darn Bolsheviks. Okay, let's see. If I remember correctly from the history lessons, I'll see to it. Bolsheviks did try to expand their influence yes, to the sir. west, and they did actually attack my country too, which is Lithuania. Moving. And there were a lot of fighting. Okay, I'm going. So thankfully they were pushed back. But it didn't last for long. Soviets did eventually Understood. occupy my country for quite some time. Yes, sir. I'll see to it. Let's see. Cloth. Okay. I still don't know. How do I check my inventory? Um, message log. Objective log. 
objective panel. Rotate camera, select all units. Hmm, I don't see inventory anywhere. Of mission HUD. No, yeah, there, there has to be an inventory, right? Okay, I, I don't want to start clicking all the buttons on my keyboard because it I'm might ready. mess something up and I won't know how to <laughs> go back. I'll see to it. It's like when I, sometimes when I'm using Photoshop, I don't use it often, Moving. but when I do need to use it, uh, I try not to mash the buttons too much because sometimes I accidentally yes, disable one of the windows or one of the tabs or something gets changed and I don't know how to get back to it and it takes me a while to to get it back to where it was right <laughs> so, so this is almost like that no okay no 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 stuff in here I'm trying to be thorough so we don't miss any good stuff I'll see to it so we need to get a lookout, right, for the train. Send someone with binoculars to that ledge. A scout. Now, Captain. Scout, scout, scout. Who's the scout? Yes. That's the scout. Cover. Look, it's the Reds who killed the Miller's family and burned everything. They deserve to die. Stand down, soldier. The Red Army will answer for crimes against their own country folk, but not to us. We are still in Russian lands and have a long way ahead of us. We don't want to be making enemies. Not to mention causing diplomatic incidents that endanger our new republic. <sighs> Enough chatter. Get back to the train. Maybe we can find more supplies on the way. So I thought these guys didn't take anything. Uh... Understood. I'm all ears. What if we actually caught up to them? Is that possible? There's five of them and four of us, though. I don't know if we can do if we, if we can even yes, do anything about them. Moving. Nah. Yeah. Okay. Thought maybe you know there's a way to oh, catch up to them and get them, name. but no, there's no way to do that. Oh well. Let's uh, scout the area a little bit. See if there's something we can take. Probably not, though. But you never know. I might I might find some random bullets yes, growing sir. on the trees. Oh, there's fuel. Good. Moving. So we're gonna have to start shooting. As target practice, we're gonna have to do the target practicing, right? Wait, no. Most certainly. Oh, did they skip that part in the in the full game? As you wish. Because there was this shooting part. Our soldiers ah. haven't seen action for a while. How about some target practice on the scarecrows? There we go. I thought you know maybe maybe they decided to skip it in this one, but no. Okay. Scarecrows. Yes, sir. They're stuffed yes. witches. <laughs> Watch out for Baba Yaga, the mother of all witches. Less talking, more shooting. Watch out for Baba Yaga, Let's called John good. Wick. I'll see to it, sir. Yes, sir. Well, yeah, this is um quite a different type of a game for me to play on my channel, considering how I have been doing mostly As you wish. Uh, Stronghold. It's a castle builder building game, if you don't know. Medieval times. I did a few other games, but um, Understood. I believe none of those came anywhere close Moving. to Stronghold. So I've been kind of focusing on that game for a while. Well, I did set yes, up a sir. goal. Where I wanted to beat all of the games of Stronghold. Taking aim. Since I never had the chance to do it as a kid. Take that, Baba Yaga. Most certainly. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to fulfill my my objective, whatever you call Understood. it. And uh, I'm very close to finishing all of them. I'm only one game away from doing them all. As you wish. So I think that marks our 
first mission. Please leave no one behind. Bring the whole squad here before giving the yeah, command yeah, to leave. I know, I know, I know. Okay. We did it. Good job, guys. You were victorious. You held on for quite some time. You knew what to do. And I'm talking to you viewers, by the way. I'm not talking to these guys. These, these guys are irrelevant. You guys are the MVPs. Okay, but in all seriousness... Um, so... Hmm. So what is this? Oh, is that... Oh, I see, I see. So this side says how much ammo we used and how much equipment we used. And this side shows what we gained. Okay, gotcha. I mean, it's kind of straightforward, isn't it? <laughs> okay. As you and the others board the train empty-handed, a discussion ensues about the recent events. Some feel enraged, some uneasy. You are lost in thought about the experience of being in command. Major Gaz Dick grabs you by the shoulder, snapping you out of it. I think it was Gaz Dick. No. What was it? Gaz Dick? Oh man, I don't I don't remember how to pronounce his name anymore. Major Gaz Dick. Gaz Dick. Oh. Whatever. You did well, Captain, but you should stop bragging and start playing the role you hope for. Today you learned the bread and butter of commanding. Things never go the way you imagine. We shouldn't have just let the Reds leave. They should pay for their actions, killing people, stealing and destroying food. Our provisional government said we should avoid conflicts. We cannot go around passing sentences as we f see fit. We need to follow orders. Okay, the situation was affected because Maximilian Jab has trait intelligence. So affected how? Like, I don't get this part. Like, did it affect his character, his... His, um... Oh, maximum value of intelligence increased by one. Is that what it is? Like, did his intelligence go up by one? Why? Just because he said they should have killed those reds, his intelligence went up? I mean, what? I don't know if that makes sense. Look, what they do to their own people. What do you imagine they'll do to us when we actually face them, considering we are a sizable military force in their country while civil war is brewing? Okay, right. I need to check. Uh, I need to pick something. I don't know what though. Um, they have to be neutral. We have to be neutral. We are soldiers, and we need to follow orders. Think about the consequences if we caught them red-handed as they kill civilians. Let's see. They'd be thrilled to see us there. I bet they'd tell everyone how Czechoslovak legionaries shot an honest miller and his family, burned the mill, and left the food to be destroyed. So, I believe, in my demo playthrough, I picked the other option, and I got the exact same answer. Shall we proceed to Moscow then, as planned, or are we expecting trouble? We will go to Moscow to pick up my future advisor, Captain Langer. He's currently working to negotiate our safe passage to Vladivostok. Let's hope the negotiations will bear fruit. Indeed, speaking of fruit, since we didn't manage to replenish our supplies, we'll stop at the next station to do so. Dismissed. Yeah, I don't get it. Like, what was that option then? Like, what does it mean? What does it do? There should be more clarity to what the outcome of these options are, if there is any. And if there's no option or no actual um, result, repercussion to your actions, well, what's the point of choosing then, you know? Okay, yeah, so that was the first mission. I think it should save here somewhere, right? Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the first episode. Um, hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed it enough to check out the second episode after this one is on or uploaded or whatever. Anyway, thank you. I'll see you soon.